everybody, Jerry here from Android Central, and I just want to take a quick look and show you what it looks like to uh, remotely wipe your device through Android Device Manager. I figure if I do it, you won't have to do it, and it's a pain in the butt setting it back up. So you go to the website, uh, I'll have another link in the post, it's a Google page, and you pick the device you want to erase. I've picked my Nexus 7 because that's the easiest one to set back up. Uh, make sure it's located. It's found me. You can see that's where I am. If we would zoom in, you'd probably see me sitting in my office looking out the window wishing I was outside. But anyway, uh, we'll go ahead and click the Erase Device button. And you'll get a pop-up. Let me zoom out so we can see it a little bit. There we go. And it tells you that it's going to perform a factory reset. Uh, all your stuff is gone. And as soon as you go offline, you're not going to be able to locate it anymore because it's not going to be signed in. That's an important thing uh, to keep in mind. So we'll go ahead and we'll click the erase button and we'll pop the Nexus 7 here and look at there, it's gonna power off. If my device was shut off, this would happen the first time I turned it back on. And it'll take a minute and shut down and you'll see when it returns, it'll go right into recovery and remotely, you know, wipe the device. Do, 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 do. Come on, Bessie, there we go. And that's all there is to it. It's just like a factory reset you perform locally, except we did it over the web. Uh, you know, a great thing if you ever need it. Let's hope you never do. Uh, but if you're curious, that's how it looks. Save you from having to do it yourself. I'll talk to you guys later. I'm out of here.